Hi guys, Andrea here, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Hope your week is off to a really good start. Now, you know, I will keep it real with you on my channel, and today I'm not feeling all that great, you guys, so forgive me if this isn't very high energy. I am just not in a high energy mood today. But I do have quite a few things I wanted to share with you guys that I got from Dollar Tree over the weekend. And I want to show them to you, you know, ASAP so you can get out there and try to find them for yourselves. It was a crazy weekend. Um, we had a family emergency go on. And it's not really my place to discuss the details, but um, I will say just to... Please pray for Matt's family if you are a praying person. We would greatly appreciate it. And all right, so I do, again, have quite a few things. Uh, this is from t two different stores, I'm pretty sure. So the first thing, I found one of these rugs. And, you know, these are like super good quality but they aren't bad quality this is one of the nicer ones that has a thicker backing i would suggest to put something on the back like um, dollar tree does sell the carpet grip it comes in like a big sheet and you usually put it under um, an area rug so it doesn't move around you want to use something like that under here just in case because they do tend to get slippery depending on the type of floor you put it on but I really liked it I love the colors going on the red and the gray I think this will look good in our living room because our two accent walls are red so cute and I've told you guys before I'm going to be putting some signs on our old military utility trailer that we keep in our backyard to keep like our pool stuff in and it just you know it's old we did paint it white just to kind of freshen it up but Matt hates it I think it actually looks kind of rustic looking and I think the signs are going to really make it actually look cute back there so I'm going with like the nautical beachy type of signs to put on it and so I picked up these ones this time just thought they were pretty i love the colors going on love it and i know several several of you suggested to spray some kind of um oops upside down some kind of waterproofing spray and that was definitely already a plan because over the years I've put some of these types of signs that are on stakes outside and it doesn't even have to rain even if you have a lot of humidity these tend to bow pretty quickly so I'm hoping to at least get a season out of these after all they're only a dollar I'm not expecting miracles, but if I can just get a season out of it, I will feel good about that. So the next thing I found was this Farm Fresh set of pot holders. I've actually hauled these before, but when I had found them, I don't know, probably a month or so ago, they only had one set of them and I wanted more than one set. And I just think these are really, really cute with the red background. I love the look of it. It's not like a cheesy rooster look to it, if, if you guys know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I really wanted it. So I picked up a couple more of those. And I've also hauled these before, but these are pretty fun. They are these packages of air dry clay. And let's see, 8.8 .8 ounces, no kiln or oven needed. It dries hard. It's paintable when dry, easy to smooth. And these are just fun to play with. I find it kind of therapeutic to squish, or, squish this around and just see what I can come up with. But yeah, so I just grabbed a couple more because I thought maybe Lily would want to mess with these too. I also grabbed some of these spices. These are the Badia adobo spices. 
And this is a really good brand, and I love adobo seasoning. These are 3.75 ounces, and they had a whole shelf of them, so I grabbed three of these. Just picked up this little spinner here. I thought it was cute. It's a little different than the ones I've already picked up, and yeah, like I said, I just picked up one of them. I needed another measuring cup. I had bought the plastic, the like, um, not the clear plastic Betty Crocker measuring cup, and it has like in red the measurements printed on the side and i don't know if maybe it got put in the dishwasher i don't think it did though but i went to use it over the weekend and all the letters were smudged so i couldn't really read what was what and it didn't have any kind of notches in it so this one is also a betty cracker but as you can see it has this more etched in there so it's not going to wipe off I've grabbed another set of these Suddenly Pasta Salads to keep in the pantry, and this is a different flavor than the ones I grabbed the last time. These are ranch and bacon, and these aren't like, oh my gosh, the best thing ever, but in a you know pinch of having some people over and want to throw together something to put you know, with some barbecue, something like that, it's just a convenient thing to have on hand. They had this Heinz Hot and Spicy Tomato Ketchup, and this is a 14-ounce container of it. I love, love, love spicy. Um, Matt is, in our time together, we've been together since 2012, he really has come a long way on the spice level. There was a time where just black pepper was hot and spicy to him, so yeah, he really has come a long way. I don't know if he'll like this stuff. It's Tabasco sauce, and I don't think Tabasco sauce is really super, super hot, but thought that was a good deal for a dollar. And they had this Renews It. It was this Snuggle scent. I only grabbed one of these because, honestly, I don't think these are super great. They do work in small spaces, so Matt does like to take these on his big truck um, because it's a smaller space and it does work out and yep yeah, my trucker likes his truck to smell fresh and clean so it does smell really good and maybe if, if he likes this one I'll try and pick up a couple more I grabbed a jar of jalapeno slices this is 11.5 ounces this is the Breckenridge brand and I grab these because I'm working on getting some fixins together. I'm going to do like a hot dog bar for Matt's birthday party at the end of July. It's going to be an outdoor summer type of party. So I want to have all kinds of different topping options for people to pile onto their dogs. So that's why I got that. And this isn't something I have too often because I really have to watch my sodium uh, but this just sounded good. These are the big sunflower seeds, but they are the hot kind. These are supposed to be like the Takis. So I picked it up just to kind of taste it, see what's going on. <coughs> so the next thing I found was this bag of big sunflower seeds, and this is the Takis Fuego Intensity flavor, so it's not something I can have very often because of the sodium. These have uh, a lot, you guys, for, I guess the serving size is a whole package. I would never eat like a whole package of this. I feel like just a little handful of these is plenty, but if you did eat the whole package, it is more, way more than an average day's allotment of sodium. It has 2,910 milligrams of sodium. So if, for anyone who has high blood pressure or you retain water, um, you really want to, you know, watch your sodium. So I would definitely not eat a whole bag or even a half bag of these. I wouldn't. <clears throat> the snuggle is making me sneeze, by the way. 
I needed a new hummingbird feeder. We actually ended up getting a really beautiful one at Menards. Um, from the time I bought this one to the time I'm putting this video up. But I'll probably still put this out because they do work. I just like the kind that has a little uh, ledge that the hummingbirds can land on because they will opt, like once they get comfortable with the feeder, they will opt to just sit on the ledge so they're not having to flap their little wings and can retain some of their energy while they feed. But these do work, you guys, for a buck. And... I just, I love hummingbirds so much. These were new to me. They are spick and span. They are the, they even advertise the C19 and says kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It's a spick and span everyday antibacterial cleaner. And this is in the a lemon scent, I'm guessing. And then this one here, does it say the scent, you guys? Maybe I'm, maybe I just can't see it, but I'm assuming it's some kind of lavender type of scent, but not bad for a one pint for fluid ounce bottle. Ugh, that, tell you that air freshener has my allergies going. I found this hot plate and I am just loving like this lemon stuff they have going on. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And so, yeah, I just picked up one of those. Sorry for my sniffling that I have going on. I, when I went, I was specifically looking for these. I saw my girl home with Casey, which... Her, she is the subscriber of the month, but I saw her haul these and she pointed out that these um, stirrers have the spoons on the end. Now they did have the flamingos, aka pink chickens. Uh, they had did have them also, but they did not have spoons on the end. They were just like little feet. I wanted the ones with the spoons and thought they were really cute. There are only four of them in each package. And I only grabbed one of each. I thought I would try these out. These blocks here are expanding soil. And according to the picture, you just put it into your pot and add water and it will just poof up. This is 100% coconut and natural wood fibers. Um, so this is very, very compressed. And I grabbed two of them just to try them out. It looks kind of fun. I want to see them like poof. I thought this was a really good deal. These are just like the tea light, glass tea light holders. And I've never seen them come in a pack of four. These are great for some of the bigger decorative candle holders. You can put these inside of there. Yeah, so I was like, okay, four pack, why not? I think I only found one Hot Wheel in all of these bags. And I thought this one was kind of weird okay let me try to zero in look at that burger this burger is all doo-doo brown in the picture the burger has lettuce and cheese and tomato it's painted this is definitely not painted so the reason i grabbed it is because sometimes these oddities actually end up being worth more than the original um, one that was painted correctly and this car they're calling it buns of steel <laughs> but that's why i got it because maybe someday who knows it'll be worth something not a very appetizing looking burger at all though I grabbed these and shoot, I forgot about them and we had Lily this past weekend, so I didn't know. I grabbed them because I thought she might like these. These are just these Vieta chips. I hope I'm saying that right. These are chili and lime flavor and it's a five pack. So I thought that wasn't a bad deal for five of the snack size bags of those. I did find another camera. 
they had all of them but this this one is exactly like the one i got this was my favorite one and i wanted a spare because i want to try painting one painting one of them and i just thought well if it doesn't come out very good if i paint it then i don't want to like ruin the one camera i have so i was happy to find an extra one of those and I grabbed some of these wall decor stickers. These are just jumbo stickers. They are butterflies and they have them on both sides. These are all individual. Uh, actually, this look more like moths. So I do think these are moths, but I still think they look cute like butterflies. So I grabbed them. I like the colors and I like putting things like this on uh, front mail before I send it out. Some stickers they had in the crafter square these chalkboard crop it stickers so these are just like sheets of chalkboard type of stickers and you can use a chalkboard pen to write on there whatever you want there are two of these sheets in here and I just grabbed one of those and then they had these and I just thought these stickers were amazing so look at how beautiful these are. They look like wood. And so I'll show you them one by one. I thought this rose was just so beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And then they had this one here. And I loved these. And then they also had these stickers here, which I loved for the sewing machine and the camera. So cool. I love these metal stickers. And actually the light bulb is pretty sweet too. So I think that's all for the stickers. They had some of this Rafia, or yeah, Rafia. And this is by American Oak. And so I grabbed these three colors and they are, let me see, I don't know how much is in here. I can't, I don't see a link. Oh, one ounce. So there's one ounce of this stuff in here and mm, kind of smells like cinnamon. I wonder why, but <laughs> just grab a few of those. And you can use those for like, you can use them to wrap gifts. It makes really pretty ribbon and rustic looking gift wrapping. So that's really why I got it. But you can use it on wreaths and for decor pieces, DIYs, stuff like that. I found some new candles. Yay. These are my favorites. The one that come in the mason jars. And this one here is cilantro and salted watermelon and it smells amazing oh so good so good i think these have decent throw especially if you have like a small bathroom like we do one of these candles will scent the area and then this one here And then this one here is French Toast Muffin. And it just, it smells like, you know, cinnamony, fall kind of scent. And then they had this basil and hemp. And this one's pretty interesting. I think some people probably won't like it. I can definitely smell the basil in it, and I love the smell of basil, but it's definitely a different scent. It may smell better once it's burned, but I thought I wanted to at least try it because I thought that was an interesting combination of basil and hemp. And then I just grabbed a couple more of these uh, these storage bins here. I haven't picked up any of this color. I've been getting like the pink and the off-white 
and the gray, but I just thought these blue ones were really, really pretty. And they had them, if you look at the picture, they did have them in a variety of different shapes and sizes for all your storage needs. These were over by the baby bottles and things like that. So these are just like toddler cups. They're insulated cups with flip-up straws. So here are the cups. They had this one here with the animals on there. And then this one's more of a C theme. And then, of course, the pink and the hearts. I thought these were great for toddlers. So it just pulls back and then you have your little flip up straw and it's a soft, flexible rubber straw and you close it up again. So I got these for when my littles come over here, my great nieces and great nephew. I thought these were perfect for them. And they had some bath mats. Um, I thought these were decent for a dollar. This is what they look like. And then the back of it is smoother looking. But it's a decent size. It's not the biggest you're going to find out there. But you got what can you expect for a dollar. And it's made of 98% cotton, 2% other fiber made in India. So I got it with the kind of teal design here. And then they had it with gray. And then they had another one. I don't remember what it was, but I don't think I liked it. So, And then I thought these were just so pretty. Now, these are just um, <clears throat> bath sponges. But look, they're like roses, you guys. How pretty are those? I thought these would be great. If you're giving a gift, instead of using a bow, you can... Put this on your gift instead and whoever gets it can use it as decor in their bathroom or they can actually use it. I probably would not take these in the shower. They have a felt background so I don't know how I, I would feel about taking this in the shower. I think it would get pretty ruined but together they look so pretty. So pretty. So these were the only three colors they had, so I just grabbed one of each of those. And, um, what else? So, for those of you who are familiar with Party Light, they're like the MLM candle company that was pretty popular in the 90s. They had these, and this is what made me think of party light because i remember a set like this that cost like a whole lot but they had these three little tea light holders and i hope you can tell they're like three different heights if i don't break them they're three different heights and the stems stems on them are really delicate. These are really, really pretty. So I grabbed one of each of those because if I ever did have the set from Party Light, which I doubt, I would have no clue where it is these days. I found these really cute socks and I was like, yes, I want to add these to friend mail. Just thought they were so adorable. These are women's socks and they fit size five to nine. I just love the red and white. I love that they're ladybugs. And then the second pair are really cute too. And these socks, you guys, I buy these kind of socks all the time and they are really nice quality and comfortable and they hold up well. So I grabbed a few sets of those. Found these Teen Spirit Lady Speed Six in the scent Pink Crush. These are 1.4 ounce little deodorants and grab these for Lily. And they smell pretty good. They really do. And not bad to find those for a dollar. Needed some nail glue and I don't know if I've ever seen this before. This is by New Color and it is brush on nail glue. So I thought I would just check that out and see how it worked. 
And then I also found these Epsom salt foot gels. It says they're super soothing for swollen and achy feet. Easy application, soothes, cools, and comforts. Contains aloe. The net weight on these is two ounces. And this is the Assured brand. So I just grabbed a couple of those. And I don't know how I feel about these because I did not like the lotion that they just came out with. But this is the Power, St <laughs> Power Stick Shave Cream. And this is in the scent Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. And then they also had it in Apricot Oil and Shea Butter. So I thought I would just give them each a try. But again, honestly, I bet it feels like the lotion. <laughs> Actually, this feels more like what I wanted the lotion to feel like. So I don't know how that's going to work for shave gel, but I don't see why it can't be used, or shave cream, I'm sorry. I don't see why it can't be used as lotion. I would rather use these as lotion than the other stuff. They, they smell great. They smell really, really nice. Really liking this apricot one, but I'll give them a try and see if I end up with a bloody disaster after I shave my legs with that found this headband and I was like so happy but they only had one and that made me not so happy because I wanted to I really wanted more of these but I love this type of look and this headband you guys is so soft and yeah, like I said I just I love this type of look I liked that it was a true headband and it has like a little knot look at the top of that so I am going to be on the lookout for more of these. I would love if they came out with more, with more colors of that. And then I found some of this Colgate Zero. This is 0% artificial flavors or sweeteners, preserved, preservatives or colors. It's a clear gel spearmint flavor. And these are 4.6 ounce um, tubes of it, which is really good size as far as the sizes Dollar Tree typically sells. I haven't found the huge ones that everyone else has been hauling, but I thought this was still a great deal for a dollar. And we're almost done. I was pretty excited because I found a bunch of books and they're not all cookbooks. I know, crazy, right? So they had this here. I thought this looked pretty interesting. It's called Getting There. A workbook for growing up and it says it's a companion to the New York Times bestseller am I there yet I don't know if this was designed for like a teenager I tried to look through it at the store and it didn't seem like it was necessarily just for a younger adult so I thought I would look through it again and see you know Maybe it's something Lily would want, or maybe it's just something I can do. I like stuff like that. And I grab myself some summer reading. I do typically read books um, with my Kindle, but in the summer, I like to just sit out on the sun, sun chair and actually read a good book. So... Yeah, I grabbed these, thought they sounded pretty interesting. This one here is called The Ensemble. And, you know, these books, you guys, this one here at one time was a $26 book. So, sounded interesting to me. And then this one here, Paris by the Book. And there was another lady that was looking through the books while I was there, and she told me that she already read this, and she said it was a really good book. And this one also retailed for $26. And, yeah. And I got this for Lily. It looked interesting because she's into, like, graphics and comic book type of things. So this is Romeo and Juliet, but it's done in the form of graphics so that's why I got that and does it have a price I don't see a price they had these over by the puzzles and I thought these were so pretty 
These are by Crown Jewels. And they are word search. Oops. They had two different word search ones. And they had a couple different Sudoku ones. I only grabbed one of the Sudoku ones. But I thought these would be so pretty to put together in a gift for somebody. Rather than just like, you know, the hokey looking crossword crossword covers that they usually have and that's why I got them and this is the pretty big print on the inside and let me show you what the word search ones look like so yeah I just thought really really pretty and I found some notebooks of course but I just love these so much I couldn't pass it up I love the bright color on this one. This is the journal style, and it has 60 sheets in here, and that's what all the sheets look like. And then they had this one that says Optimist with the yellow sheets. Really cute. And then they had this really cute hot pink one with the stars and the teal sheets in there. And then back to book books, they had Gourmet Gone Wild, planning and preparing complete menus for game, fish, and fowl. So this is what this, this book looks like, and I don't see a price on this one. Oh no, $16.95, and this one does not have any pictures in it, but that's okay. And then they had Second Helpings of Roast Chicken what this one looks like and this retailed for $24.95 there aren't a ton of pictures actually I don't see any pictures so it'll be worth checking out though for a dollar just crazy and they had baking with vegetables I thought that sounded really interesting on the back of it, there's something um, they're calling sweet pepper upside down tart. That sounds interesting. And this one definitely has pictures. Love it. Yes, I am cookbook obsessed. As most of you know already. And I don't see a price on that. Oh, I guess I grabbed some more notebooks. They had this one, Beeples. And that's what it looks like inside. They had some of these mini legal looking pads and I grabbed them because I love the colors on them. I use these pads like crazy at work. So not bad for a three piece and there are 50 ruled sheets on each one of these pads. And I thought this was pretty cool. They had some other designs, but it's just a weekly planner pad that you can keep right on your desk. I liked that it wasn't predated, so you can just fill in the dates as needed. And because it's not predated, this would be something that would be good to put in a gift that you're getting together for somebody. And then we are on to the last bag, and they are all books. We have... 175 natural sugar desserts that looks so beautiful this retailed for $24.95 and it says discover these natural sugars agave syrup xylitol honey and maple syrup and let's see do we have pictures we do have pictures somewhere <laughs> I love tarts like that. It looks so pretty. So that. And then they had Valerie Bertinelli, One Dish at a Time, Delicious Recipes and Stories from My Italian American Childhood and Beyond. And this book retailed for $30 in the US. Crazy. So let's see. The $30, give me some pictures, girl. So yes, there are some pictures in here. Just 
Love it. And then this last one is called California Mosaic, a cookbook celebrating cultures and cuisine. And look at this book. It is beautiful. It is heavy. It is big. And it retailed for $29.95. And let's see. Do we have pictures? We do have some pictures. Yum. So I thought this one just looked really interesting. And yeah. So that is everything. I need to go find a home for all these books. I need to get my legs up because... I have an issue with swelling because of one of the medications I take and uh, it's like off the charts today. So yeah. And I think that's it. If you guys are interested, I got my stitch fix in the mail. So I'm going to be trying that on in the next day or so and recording that video. I did ask for an extension on the return date. FYI, if you did not know. Once your Stitch Fix gets delivered and you get that confirmation that it delivered, you can go back onto the app or the website and you can ask for an extension for a few more days. So I did that because I just know I'm not feeling the greatest. So, And I also got my uh, Shein shipment in today. So excited to try that and share that with you guys. So I am going to have both of those videos out at some point this week. So make sure if you have not done so yet and you want to see those, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know as soon as those videos go up. And I just want to take another moment to thank all of you who have been supporting my channel and watching my videos and just showing so much love to me. I appreciate you so much. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined our little trucker family. Uh, I hope that you continue to enjoy the videos I put out. So until next time, my beautiful friends, as always, stay safe and be blessed. Bye. Bye.